cockpit of Rolls-Royce 2025 chassis number GED 58. So what I'm going to show you today is some recent work I've been doing on tuning the low speed and high speed jets of the carburetor and uh, I have a universal exhaust gas oxygen sensor fitted to the downpipe of the exhaust and we'll be looking at the lambda, the, the, the kind of air fuel ratio uh, as it warms up, starts, warms up and dries and I'll be moving some of the controls here which uh, affect the air fuel ratio uh, and they, if you take a look at these, so we've got here the ignition timing that'll just be advanced as far as it'll go as soon as the engine starts there's the mixture control, so strong, rich on this side, lean, weak on this side uh, idle, speed control there and then for starting, down here is the uh, starter carburetor where you close the main throttle to begin with and there's the starter button there. So uh, we'll see the effects of the engine warming up, the fueling control, especially during transients like um, going around roundabouts, joining the motorway, and when running in steady state, I'll move the mixture control, see what the effects of that are, see how much of an effect that has, and also the effects of the autovac system, which is lifting fuel, sucking fuel, uh, into a reservoir on the bulkhead. Uh, and as it's doing that, it's doing that under the action of the inlet manifold depression. And as that is released, uh, as uh, the valve opens to suck the petrol up, you'll see the instantaneous effect having, happening periodically uh, when we're steady state on the motorway. So here is the vehicle in question and the engine is a straight six 3.675 liter gasoline engine obviously overhead valve push rod with a single rolls-royce carburetor the high speed jet is here this is its adjust the low speed jet adjust is round the back and this is the starter carburetor with this its adjusting screw just here Around the other side of the engine, we have our exhaust manifold. Here's the downpipe. This is where the exhaust gas oxygen sensor is fitted. And beside it, an emission sampling point where we put combustion fast response analyzers. I'll also show you the AutoVac uh, fuel delivery system. Uh, this is connected to the intake manifold, and this sucks fuel up from the tank and puts it into the header tank where it's fed by gravity to the carburetor. This is the air valve from the carburetor that blends the high and low speed jets together and the movement of that is maybe a little bit faster than it should be. This is the high speed fuel jet from the carburetor and you can see a distorted aluminium washer. Uh, this must have been leaking fuel past uh, the jet and was causing the engine to run far too rich. A previous owner was complaining of high fuel consumption. So what we're going to be looking at is the air fuel equivalence ratio expressed as lambda, which is the measured air fuel ratio divided by the stoichiometric air fuel ratio. That's the perfect burning ratio for this fuel. And this should be about one. So if lambda is less than one, you're running rich and the rich fire limit on this vehicle is about 0.65 and if you're greater than one then you're running lean and the misfire limit is about 1.35. By way of an example here is the lambda trace from the cold start first 200 seconds of the European drive cycle on a modern gasoline engine and you can see the excursions from lambda one during those first 200 seconds. But now let's go for a drive, sit back and enjoy the ride. And apologies for the microphone sound quality. The microphone was not in a, not in a good place.
as happy as single Shun three times up on your heels. Oh boy, how good it feels. You'll get the happiest new sensation. Write a little note on your toes. Don't forget the dot the eye. Look at what you wrote, goodness knows. It's easy as pie.